Good morning and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. There's a great joke about a paramedic who was being interviewed for a TV show. The host asked, what was your most unusual call? Well, the paramedic thought for a moment. Recently, we got a call from that big white church on the corner of 11th and Walnut. A frantic usher was very concerned that during the sermon, an elderly man passed out in a pew and appeared to be dead. The usher could find no pulse and there was no noticeable breathing. The host said, well, that sounds pretty routine. What was so unusual about that call? Well, the paramedic continued, we carried out four guys before we found the one who was dead. I love that joke, but there's a serious side to that joke too. Sometimes we are a bit tepid and half-hearted about listening to sermons. It's worse if I say it another way. Sometimes we are a bit tepid and half-hearted about listening to the word of God proclaimed in our midst. How dare we be bored as we talk together about God and God's love and grace for us. And yet... We listen to sermon after sermon unchanged. As I heard one speaker say, we come to church just as we are. We sing just as I am. And we leave just as we were. Not the people of Nineveh, though. That's perhaps a part of the story of Jonah that you might have sped right by. This week, we're looking at the whole story of Jonah, not just the famous part about him being swallowed by a fish, and hopefully we'll find a lot more that speaks to our lives. The response of the people of Nineveh is one of those parts. Let me remind you that Jonah didn't want to go preach to Nineveh. There's a lot of speculation about that. The people of Israel knew they were God's chosen people, and so sometimes they let that get the better of them and led them to think that they were better than others. So some have speculated that Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh because he didn't want to be bothered with these sinners from another country. If this is true, Jonah is responding like a racist. Of course, there are other possibilities too. Perhaps he didn't want to be bothered or simply didn't want to do what God called him to do. Nevertheless, after the fish ordeal, Jonah did go to Nineveh. But it didn't seem like his heart was very much into what he was supposed to do. Nineveh was a large city, three days walk across. The way I read what the Bible says, Jonah walked a little way into this great city, put down his soapbox, mumbled a few words about the need to repent, and walked out. Doesn't seem to be much of a sermon. But the thing about sermons is that they aren't supposed to be our words, but rather God's word. And you can't put limits on what God's word is going to do. Jonah mumbled his sermon and the people actually listened. They listened and they changed. They did repent and God forgave them. What an amazing grace. Vicar Amanda and I don't preach half-heartedly like Jonah, but our hope is exactly that. We don't want you to hear our words. We want you to hear God. Proclaimed among us is God's word for our lives, sometimes calling us to repentance, sometimes praising God, sometimes reshaping our thinking, sometimes expounding on God's love and grace, and much, much more. Our call is to be the people of Nineveh, actively listening for what God has to say to us. Our call is to be the people of Nineveh, eagerly changing as God leads us. Our call is to listen and hear God. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.